Hi everybody. Today we're going to do page 27 in our math journal and it's on multiplication. So go ahead, this is page 26. Turn to page 27. Put 27 at the bottom. Okay, just like I did there. And today we're talking about multiplication and equal groups. All right. So at the top we're going to write multiplication. And what multiplication is, is it's just a quick way to show repeated addition. So if I have 4 plus 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 4, that's kind of long to write and figure out. So it's much easier just to have a symbol, our multiplication symbol, that stands for groups of, that will shorten up that process. So we're going to write multiplication is a quick way to show repeated addition. And when we say repeated addition, we're talking about addition where all of the add-ins are the same number. So a double stat, you can write a multiplication number sentence for, but every add-in has to be the exact same number. Okay. Multiplication, we're going to write another fact about multiplication. Is combining equal groups. Now I want you to write this all in capital letters because that is so important. The groups all have to be equal. They all have to have the same number in them. So multiplication is combining equal groups to find how many in all. Well, multiplication and addition are related. Make sure you have capital letters and periods and we're going to underline equal groups. That's very important. Now I'm going to draw. I'm going to draw four pictures. Okay. And these can be our plates. In class we've been doing plates of cookies. So I'm going to have four plates. And I'm going to put five cookies on every plate.
now here's what we're going to do. I want you to circle each of your groups with one color. We have four groups, All right? So next to this, I want you to write four groups. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four groups. Now how many cookies are in each group? Well, we have five. And they don't have to be cookies. We're actually going to color them purple, so they could technically be grapes. Okay, we just changed them into grapes. So color in the grapes on your plates. Now to write the addition number sentence for this model, for this picture, okay, we're going to write five, because we have five here, one, two, three, four, five, plus five, plus five, plus five, okay? Five plus five plus five plus five. So whenever you're doing this, always write the number underneath the picture. That will help you to keep from getting confused. So these are my grapes, okay? My grapes are purple, so I'm gonna underline my fives in purple. Those are my grapes. Five plus five plus five plus five. I have equal groups. So my sum here, if we count by fives, five plus five plus five plus five is 20. This is repeated addition. Now let me show you how this works with multiplication. To write a multiplication number sentence for this, First off, our first number is going to be the number of groups that we have. So how many groups do we have? We have four. So the first number is your number of groups. We have four groups of how many in each group? We have five. And four groups with five things in each group is 20. So we're really saying we have four fives. Here are four fives. When I add four fives together, I get 20. Okay. So again, this first number Okay. This is the number of groups. All right. So you can draw a little arrow. Number. You have to write a little smaller. Number of groups. The second number. is the number of things in each group. to be in this order. If you swap these, if you say five times four, you're still going to get 20, but you're going to have a different picture. So you always have to remember 
that this first number is the number of groups. One, two, three, four. Four groups. Number of plates, number of groups. Okay. And then we have our second number, which is the number of things in each group. And in this case, it's grapes. So we have five grapes in each group. That gives us a total of 20. So this is the number of things in all or total, the total. Now in multiplication, okay, we've talked about how in addition we have add, end, and sum. We've talked about subtraction. Well, I'm gonna tell you what the names of these are in multiplication. So in multiplication, this first number is called a factor. Okay. The second number is also called a factor. And this last number is called the product. So that first factor is always the number of groups. That second factor is always the number of things in each group. And then our answer is the product. And then I want you to remember that when we're doing this, when we're writing addition number sentences and multiplication number sentences, again, all of these have to be the same number. We can't have a plate with five and a plate with four, and a plate with three, and a plate with five. They all have to be the same. So don't forget that. That's super important in multiplication. I hope you've enjoyed learning about multiplication and repeated addition. And I will see you soon.